Last week's rain made a noticeable difference in central Texas, helping turn plants and lawns from brown to green. But the days of rain did little when it comes to relieving our drought. If you think of Lake Travis as a cup, this is what it looked like before the rain. Afterwards, the lake rose just over a foot, a very small increase. At that rate, it would take 141 days of rain to get Lake Travis to its full level. We wanted to know why last week's rain didn't make more of a difference. KXN's David Yeomans found some answers. So this is Shoal Creek right around 12th Street, and you can see there's a little bit of flow going now. Dr. Jordan Fernandes has been a water resources engineer for 14 years. It's exciting, but it's also really important. He studies how rainy days like the few we had last week affect the amount of water in our lakes. It's not just a quantity of rain. The rain needs to fall in the right places. It needs to fall in the watersheds above Lake Travis, above Lake Buchanan. The rain we got last week added up to as much as 7 to 10 inches in some parts of central Texas. But the extremely dry ground caused by the ongoing drought has meant that lake levels didn't get much help. The best analogy is a sponge. Uh, you can imagine a typical kitchen sponge. When it's dry, it's all hard. You pour a cup of water onto that, that water soaks in immediately. These days, Austinites are wondering if dry creek beds and dry lake levels are something they're going to have to deal with forever. But many are hoping there's a way to finally end this drought. Central Texas can expect a wet winter thanks to El Nino, which could be the light at the end of the tunnel. But just how many of those wet days would we need to end the drought? It would take 141 days to fill up the lake. So you're talking about four and a half months of that same amount of rainfall, that same amount of runoff. For those of you counting, that means we would need constant soaking rain from today through the end of January. David Yeomans, KXAN News.